Hi, I'm Jean Brandt, professor with Oregon State University Extension Service, and I want to show you how to test pressure counter gauges. These pressure counter gauge test units come from Presto, and they will come in a well-padded box, which is a great way to continue to store them. The master gauge will come separately in a well-padded box as well, and it snaps onto the test unit onto the copper tubing. The test unit also has the air cylinder, a small pipe where you'll attach the gauge to be tested, a foot pump attached with plastic tubing, and a selection of rubber adapters that will allow you to create a seal between the gauge you want to test and the test unit. To test the pressure counter gauges, you want to carefully seat the gauge that you're testing onto the test unit so that there's no air leaking. You'll be able to hear if there's an air leak once you start pumping the unit up. So then you want to bring the unit up to 11 pounds of pressure, which is the level that most people will preserve food at unless you're at a higher elevation. And then compare your master gauge with the reading on the gauge that you're testing. If both gauges read the same, then all is well. However, if there's a difference between your master gauge and the gauge that you're testing, then the consumer needs to make accommodations when they're processing food. There's a form that's available on the National Center for Home Food Preservation website, or you may have one in your own office, that allows you to write down what the consumer's gauge reads when the master gauge is at 11 pounds of pressure, so they will know what they need to bring their pressure canner to to safely process their food unless they're at a higher elevation than 2,000 feet, and then they would need to raise the pressure in the canner to properly process the food. These master gauges also need to be tested on an annual basis, and they need to be returned to Presto, again, in their padded box on an annual basis for testing. Presto will test these free and return them to you. If you have any damage or questions about your test unit, Presto can also repair that and will return this to you. Sometimes people will bring in a pressure counter gauge that's been removed from the lid, and these are easier to test, but we don't recommend that people remove their gauge for testing because there can be some damage done with removing it or handling it without the lid. If gauges read more than two pounds off, they should be replaced. And even a new gauge should be tested for your accuracy because it could be damaged in shipping or in the store. And so if you get a, get a replacement gauge, you might want to bring it for testing before you put it on your canner lid to make sure that it's reading accurately also. If you test canner gauges for long, you'll see all kinds of gauges and canners. And so far, we've been able to make all of them fit one way or another on the testing unit, so we've been able to get them tested. So this one looks pretty good. When people come in to have their counter gauge tested, we ask if they have current instructions, and if they, if they don't, we either send them to our website or supply them with current handouts and instructions. I hope this has taken some of the mystery out of testing pressure canner gauges. If you have any further questions, don't hesitate to contact me or National Presto Industries directly. This is a great service to offer your community, and so I'm glad that Extension offices have this available to them.